Well, the second one uh, for the strengths uh, coming off of uh, the probability uh, positivity is that the, it uh, appeals, uh, the appealing method of inquiry. One of the great strengths of the evidentialist approach is uh, the use of the methods of inquiry already familiar and acceptable to many non-Christians. And so since the goal of apologetics is to persuade people that Christianity is true, or at least that is reasonable to believe it is true, arguments that employ strategies familiar to those being persuaded are so much more likely to be effective. And so when we talked about uh, all the different lawyers or all the different detectives, uh, we've had one on the show before, uh, who um, present the case to to make the claims and to try and persuade and convince you uh, that the, the idea of God in the dock and uh, from C.S. Lewis, um, all these uh, kind of parallels to our normal lives are how we make big important decisions whether the state should take your life whether it should restrict your liberty whether or not uh, to uh, be properly informed is uh, you know you want this uh, uh, more than preponderance of the evidence you want beyond a reasonable doubt uh, to to uh, have belief uh, and in there you see the probability argument as well and so it is undeniable that evidential apologetics has gr enjoyed great success because of this, because we know those things like evidence demands a, ver a verdict more than a carpenter. Uh, um, you know, we, we've got uh, Jay Warner Wallace and um, various other people like uh, C.S. Lewis and, and um, uh, John Warwick Montgomery, uh, to just name a few who have uh, put out books and, and different uh, avenues of arguments. Uh, you have different scientists who are... Um, um, putting out uh, uh, responses against uh, um, atheistic uh, Darwin philosophy and and uh, and uh, kind of showing uh, why that doesn't uh, um, come about uh, without a, a, a common designer uh, in the mix. Um, those are the things that are being appealed to by the evidentialists, and it's what's familiar in the lives of people who will make decisions based on those types of kind of argumentation. Right. So they say, we're going to argue in the way that everybody argues so that we have kind of common ground with regard to our approach, right? That's the basic idea. And so that's what our book is suggesting is a, uh, is a strength, the appealing uh, methods of inquiry. 